Um, okay, cool. Hello, I'm Dom. Hey, this is Jeff over here. Uh, and we're going to do some collision detection and then play some StarCraft. This is going to be our first uh, indulgent let's watch two dudes play video games together kind of thing. Uh, but hopefully first of many. It's actually, uh, <laughs> I believe that is like the key the that is like the key value proposition of Twitch is to watch people play video games. So maybe maybe that'll actually uh, improve the stream. <laughs> <laughs> don't watch. Don't look at our game. Look at somebody else's game. I'm I'm very excited to uh, to try out co-op StarCraft. I haven't experienced that yet. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you this: working on video games. Nothing gets you more excited about playing video games than working on games. I don't know if that's been true for you, but it was certainly mm-hmm. what resurrected my interest in video games. Because like when I was in my mid twenties, I was like, I don't want to play video games. I want to like learn how to play. I want to. I want to get good at the guitar. That's what people <laughs> people will think is cool, you know. Um, or I want to be a writer or, or whatever, right? But then like when I started working in the game industry, I was like, okay, well, I should probably learn more about the learn learn more about it. And that's how you like got a console again you know that's how i actually started mm. playing video games i missed the whole ps1 uh dreamcast sega saturn P- ps2 oh, i missed ps2 entirely that uh, whole generation that was, that was that good yeah <laughs> yeah i didn't play shadow of the colossus until 2008 yeah oh fascinating the remake was really good like really really good yeah, you know, I, I got the remake for free because it was on PS Plus. That's right. Uh, that's like why, a couple months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I couldn't make it all the way through. Like I remember how dreary and unpleasant the first game was. I mean, I think it's brilliant, but like it was still like kind of depressing to play, right? It's still that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. But so I'm excited to play all kinds of video games. I'm I'm, I'm excited to like. Uh, actually talk a lot about our our influences on this mm-hmm. this this stream like even after last stream you and i were talking about like syndicate and commandos and all these other games that we we're just like super excited about like re-exploring yeah there's not enough hours to uh actually dig into all the ones i want to play which is a real bummer yeah uh, Tough, tough game of prioritization. You know what I started doing last night, actually, because I was just like, I, I, I'm kind of in between games now. Like my inner, the amount of energy that I have to grind on Yakuza Zero has like kind of petered out, and I'm just like, okay, they're gonna like make me get into another battle here. That I'm, <laughs> it's like you have to fight the same Yakuza boss like three times in a row. Like it's just oh, crazy. Gosh. That's um, <laughs> it's a little fillery, even though it's like really well written filler. So I'm, I'm waiting for Crossco to. Come come out we talked about that before oh but, yeah um, yeah yeah so so what i did is i actually signed up for nintendo switch online which comes with the nes and snes uh emulators mm-hmm. and i gotta say like some of those snes games were just perfectly constructed like you you could launch them today and people would be like this is like one of the best games ever made yeah what were you playing super metro oh yeah it's it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is aesthetically perfect. Like I, I really feel like you could just like release that right now in coronavirus twenty twenty, and people would be like, "This is an amazing artistic achievement." Yeah, yeah. It was then. It still is. Yeah. <sighs> I have that. I should play that game. I really liked it. <laughs> and there's this thing about um, the SNES, the the aesthetic that you're able to get out of that hardware is like perfectly at the peak of the uncanny valley, whatever that uncanny uncanny valley curve is. It's, it's at some peak or maximum area under the curve or whatever it is, rather than at, at the at the bottom of the valley. Because um, if like if you play like an N sixty four game, there's just like no way you're gonna like not feel that it's it's dated somehow. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, right. I would say the same for PS one or you know like a lot of those like early three D consoles. Yeah, there is. You yeah, wait. Does that? No, they're they're way outside the valley because they're not uncanny. They're very clearly, like blocky triangles. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is, just like the kind of like, whatever you're going for, but what the hardware can actually give you, what like the like the dip, the gap between that is just like so wide for some console. Mm-hmm. Um, 
And I would even say the same scandalously uh, about the NES, right? I think that there's some NES games that are just like quite obviously show their technical limitations that are not quite there. But with the, with the SNES, you could take that same sensibility, but you had so much more hardware capability to play with. And you just could make these perfect artifacts that are like whole. They're fully whole, you know? Yeah, original Metroid was not not as good. Controversial, but uh, I oh. I thought it fell down in a lot of ways, especially like comparing mm-hmm. those two and comparing like those early Final Fantasies. Yeah, as soon as and Zelda, they they doubled or quadrupled whatever power they had, and it was uh, it was the right amount. Yeah, Crap, yeah. Dude. I don't I don't need more to play. I'm sorry. No, I, okay. plant, I planted that seed in your head. But yeah, I mean, I, I like I actually took a look I at the, like the top ten, the top the, like rankings of games available on Switch NES uh, or Switch SNES, and uh, there are some in there that like I never played. Mm. I think Demons Quest. It was like like the goblins and goblins and ghouls and goblins, but uh, you play as the goblin. Um. I never that. played that game, but uh, Demon's Quest. I've never even heard of that game. Uh, Demon's, Demon's Crest. Crest. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's supposed to be really good. Huh. Sure, I'm in. Yeah, and oh, F Zero. Oh, it's so good. It fe- Did you ever play F Zero? Oh yeah, I love I love that one. Okay. It feels really good. The graphics are great. Yeah, I mean they're they're kind of blocky and everything, but it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's trying to achieve anything, you know. Look at this wild fucking art style, man. Ah, yeah, so good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. On the list. And then back to math. <laughs> math. Yeah, it's it's time for math. We're yes. gonna have to do it. Let's uh, let's send this to the bottom. Yeah. And we'll give this a little more room. Are you into using uh, hotkeys to kind of like reposition your your windows and stuff? Yeah, I've got I got everything hotkeyed to different quadrants. I need to learn how to do that. I mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's the only way I can do it. Uh, I feel like I don't actually use enough hotkeys. I some some folks are very uh, yeah. into like thirds or like yeah. pre-built layouts, and I it's too much for me. Yeah. Did you uh, ever have like a Vim phase? Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. I was never so fortunate, unfortunate. Yeah. I don't know which. Yeah. Now, nah, for some reason, I like hotkeys, but like not those hotkeys. Yeah. All right. Let's see. There's a little plus two. Oh, too much plus. Eh, that's right yeah. Plus. Visual Studio, the zoom is not is not. It leaves a lot to be desired. I think. Yeah. It's well. I think it's doing HTML page zoom on the whole interface, which is a choice. Yeah. Okay, so what we're doing is double line intersection with this funny stack overflow algorithm we found that involves vector cross products. Yes. Uh, and luckily for us, vector cross products are totally in uh, GeoMatrix, but also yep. it's just a function we could copy. It's really easy. Yeah. I like that they, they're just like zero and one are zero, and we just stuck it in the Z because it's actually a scalar. Oh, interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Can, can you go back to that? How? Yeah. Oh, so they're returning a three, a vec three, because a vec two cross block is like definitionally a vec three, but they're like, come on, we know, we know you just wanted z. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Because it is. Yes. It's the it's the vector going straight up on the z axis, right? Okay, yeah. Um, but they are returning a vec three, and then you, we have to pull that. I was I was thinking I would maybe copy the extremely simple multiplication. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah totally. Oh, yes, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, I it just it's I, I saw this in the stack overflow and I was like, surely they don't mean just multiply and subtract, but it turns out they did. They do. They do. Yeah. Great. It uh, it is also the determinant of the matrix uh, if you stack the two matrices on top of each other, um, which is not a helpful. <laughs> uh, my my goal for the summer maybe is to learn exactly what a cross product and a determinant is. Because uh, they always seem like complete voodoo. You learn how to do them in school, and then like, there's really no great intuition for it. Yeah, yeah. It's been this has been such a good refresher on like sixth grade math. Now we're getting into like ninth grade math. Yeah, I love it. So yeah, I, I'm actually just gonna write this out real quick, and then we'll have it. 
w1 minus v1 minus w times it's gonna be times ah oh, thank you thank yes. you yeah nice return this can i also maybe potentially suggest a, an, a, another kind of appetizer exercise yeah uh which would be uh, dipping our toes in the TDD realm a little bit and maybe adding a failing test case for segment mm. to segment um, that includes the thing that we encountered, which is to okay. say uh, a diagonal line going from northwest to southeast and a horizontal line. They okay. overlap, their bounding boxes overlap, but they do not actually intersect, right? That was the case that we... Um, I believe yeah. it was something along the lines of this, right? Yep. Yep, that's exactly it. So let's see. So let's make our. I'm just going to get out this boilerplate. Okay, so uh, a diagonal line. So let's do like from. Yeah, negative, negative three, three. So. Quadrant four to three, negative three, quadrant two. Yep, that would be like this. Uh huh. And then if this is just. Uh, you could put something that starts on the y axis and just projects out to the to the right. Right, yeah, so like, uh, yeah, zero, zero, one, one to. One, one, yeah. Yep. Yep, so that's well, well inside the bounding box. Uh, we would expect this to be false, and our, and it current, fail. our current test should run this is true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, all that crap I left in there is not going to help. Honestly, it's a little much to fail the test for that, but whatever. Oh, and we got breakpoints. Let's just turn those off and keep going. Great. Uh, expected false got true. OK. Terrific. Sweet. That is terrific. Um, excellent. So I was writing this as segment, segment two, just to not really have to stomp on our previous one, and we can actually compare. We can keep the alternation around if we need to. Sounds great. Um, so uh, ch check me on this, but they're representing lines as a point and a point plus an offset, essentially. Uh, and we're getting start and end points as our segments. Yeah. So I'm ca calculating the offset is the end point minus the start point, or the start minus the end. It doesn't really matter, because we'll just the constant will be the same. Mm -hmm. the constant will be negative. So, uh, but that that modeling works in your brain, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and and this is totally up to your preference. But I'd be fine using the lettering that they have in this if that makes it easier to think about. If you like, think, if you wanted to use Q, yeah, these are all fine. I, yeah. Yeah, I think I like these. I, I'm going to solve for T and S probably though. Okay. Maybe. Yes. maybe yeah. Maybe. Uh, Actually, maybe uh, I should solve for uh, S1 scalar and S2 scalar in that case. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yes. Right. And then S2 intersect. Yeah. Uh, OK, so let's see. So uh, S1, I don't matter. It's going to be P. Or it's going to be T. Um, so we have, ah, yeah, maybe I should use their values, huh? This is going to be really, really annoying to look at if I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's so make this P, P and R. R, huh? And then Q and S. Yeah. And we can even put a link to the Stack Overflow thing over here if people get confused. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should, because this is actually a very... Um, that is a very nice uh, question or answer. Yeah. 
All right, so now t becomes q minus p, uh, and then we're going to do cross, so we're going to have to uh, r cross s. Okay, so this becomes a cross scalar of r and s. And then this is a vec2 dot subtract. And a cross scalar of that. Okay, what does it hate? So your vec2 create oh. should have ah. should be empty, yeah. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we subtract Q from P, we cross it with S, and we divide that by the cross of R and S. Yep, that looks right to me. All right, and then U is, let's see, like two dot subtract, two dot create, uh, P and Q, uh, cross R divided by cross scalar of S and R. Does the order matter for cross products? It does, yeah. It does, OK, great. Uh, if you reverse them, you're going to get the negative. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. They are anti-dependent or something like that. I forget how the, uh, there's hmm. like some term for that. Wait, uh, to reduce the number of computation, why did they do, they just determined U is that and then reversed the subtraction and the cross. That's interesting. Oh, I, I see. What they did is they, um, yeah, because you invert the subtraction, you're going to negate the, the, the numerator. And then if you uh, invert the numerator, you can, you can invert the denominator as well. And that allows you to save cross scalar rs saves you one thing and and we should do that anyways because we need to check to see if that is equal to zero with epsilon right yeah because yeah. that'll be one of our like early out situations right uh so let's see we're gonna we're doing the two crosses first so we're doing collinear uh, yeah, there there may even be like an outer if because one and two are kind of sub problems of each other uh, mm -hmm. Well, whatever. I, I actually think that like we can just calculate those two values, like R cross S, and then Q minus P cross R. Cross R. Yeah. Yeah. So the the values for U, and then and then basically we say like if the one is zero and the other is zero, then we are collinear, right? Well, how how about this? If if R cross S is zero. Yeah, and we might want to use the um, the vector. The, the GL matrix equality. Ah, yeah, great, great point. Um, yeah, I think we already pulled it out matrix somewhere. Dot equal. Equals, it was just GL matrix yeah. dot equals because we had to, yeah. yeah. Um, so this is check zero less than U, oops, T less than one. Uh, so I'm kind of, I'm breaking this out logically. So we actually need to store this value yeah, I see. Cool. And then this is cross scalar. And my keyboard is not keeping up, and I don't know why, and that's a little concerning. Maybe there's so much math going on in the background of this game right now. <laughs> uh, this is the cross scalar. Of Are you back to a magic keyboard? I am. Uh, my really nice mechanical keyboard started repeating the B key today. Oh, so gosh. I'm going to send them a gentle, nasty RAM. But also, since it's just a red switch, I think I could just buy another red switch. Oh, yeah. Which which is nice. Yeah. I, I, I do appreciate that part of, uh, yeah, uh, Q, P, uh, crossed with R, zero. Cross scalar vec two. Oh, uh, this is vec two dot subtract first. Q 
QNP. Yeah, I think it's the first term in your const u equals, right? That's the, it should be the same thing. Wait, sorry. Uh, const u equals, and then you have like a numerator denominator. And I think this term that you're typing right now is just the numerator of that. Oh, that's super correct. Great. Uh, and you may yeah. actually need to store that in a temporary because we're going to do it both in this equality check here and we're going to do it when we calculate u in the else. Uh, we, we've already calculated u, so. Right. What I'm saying is that, but we can't. We, we don't need to do it twice. Yeah, we don't need to do it twice, A, and we can't really do it on line 63 yet because we haven't checked to see if the, cross, the division by the cross scalar is actually legal, right? Because the division by R cross S could be zero. Uh, right. Yeah. I mean, the, that's the reason why this algorithm special case is the R cross zero, the R cross S equals zero case, okay. right? That's what line number one and line number two yep. don't even touch T and U because it, they're, they're both meaningless or undefined in those cases. Hmm. Okay. You right. only care about T and U uh, basically for the, the case, case three and four. Good point. OK. Uh, so this is const, um, I don't know what to call this, except like. If you, one thing we could do, I mean, it's going to be a confusing name, <laughs> pretty much whatever. But one thing we could call is like uh, uh, UD and UN, or UN and UD, which is like the, de the numerator of U mm -hmm. and the denominator of U or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, I like that. Really, Although the divisor right. is common, is common, so right. uh, that could be a div or something like that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then yeah, you're right. These don't happen until over here. We'll deduplicate that in a second. Mm -hmm. um, GL matrix cross code there. And then if uh, GL matrix dot equals UN zero, uh, then we're in, let's see. It's collinear. Collinear, yeah. yeah. Else uh, parallel, parallel. non intersecting. Cool. Parallel, parallel non collinear. Non yeah, but right. same, same difference, right? Um, yeah. Um, so this is actually a really easy return false. Mm -hmm. um, is this a very easy here's six? Ah, so we actually do need to check for disjointness here as well. Ah, we have a whole totally different calculation to do. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wonder um, if they are parallel and collinear. The bounding box check here would also work. So if we wanted to do less math and we just wanted to check the bounding box, we could do that as well. Um, let's get the. I want to finish up the the T and U, and then. Yeah, that's, that's totally fine. That seems reasonable after that. Uh, okay. What. Are you unhappy about? Ah. Huh. Parallel non collinear. Okay. Uh, so then the third case is. Uh, so we know that this is not zero, and we just want to do between. Greater than equal to zero plus equal one. Yeah. Did we write a between function already? I feel like we, yeah, we did. Great. Uh, it's just between. That's not equal. So. The between is for vec twos. Between. You okay with that? Um. 
Yeah, I don't think we want to use between here because um, between will will reverse the points arbitrarily. Wait, wait, hang on. Sorry, you just turned to a robot. Why tuple? Why are you doing this to us? Uh, say something again. Hi. Oh, you're back. Okay. Yeah, it was a little choppy uh, uh, coming from you as well. Uh, it was just yeah. a little bit of like artifacting or whatever. Sorry. Um, no, no problem. Uh, were you saying could that be, it's not actually my between? As well. Um, yeah, I, I think we actually want to. We we don't want to mess with the ordering of. Oh oh, we're just we're just we're just doing zero and one. Yeah, we could do that. I think between does a little bit too much. Like I like between does oh, right. that min maxing that we don't need to do. Basically, um, we just fair. need to do yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so let's see, yeah. If zero less than equal u, this is for both of them, right? Yeah. Oops. And u is less than equal to one, and less than equal to t, and t less than equal to one, turn true. We could even just return line 77, basically. We could return that expression. Darn tootin. And really, this should be unreachable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, we could even like not have this be an else cl else case. If I don't, I don't know what you what 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 style you're interested in. Sometimes people like early outs and and less indenting. Some mm. other people like having the if and else symmetry. That's a great point. I I really like the FL symmetry. I like the um, yeah, it's fair. Un, unfettered else clause where you're just like every. It's like a default in a switch statement. Also, yeah. also pleasant. Okay, wait. Oh, that entire cross scalar comes with this. Great. Okay, that's some. Uh, that is some math. Let's see, so this is where you think the A, B, B overlap works, and I agree that they're collinear, surely, surely we can't have the same problem as last time. Mm -hmm. Sweet. OK. I think that's the function. Yeah, I think on line 62, you can call that divisor, actually. Say again. Uh, if you go to line 62 um, of, yeah, that you can, G, if, if GL matrix dot equals, uh, instead of cross scalar RS, we already calculated that oh, on line divisor, yeah. yep. Thank you. And that actually, that's a much clearer, like, don't divide by zero. Yes. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you know what? Just just because, I uh, like let's make this t numerator and just. Uh, I feel you on that one. Yes. Yep. I don't know. It's nice, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Let me see. I might I might try to turn out my tuple bandwidth. Sorry. Something something is showing up here. Can I turn down? It's already at the lowest. Mm, okay. It's it's Great. Uh, I'll turn it to low on my end as well. Okay. And uh, it kind of makes the screen illegible. Ah <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, it's actually okay. It's actually getting better. Okay. Uh, it's getting a little bit better. I think one thing that's happening is I think I'm streaming a fairly high bit rate. I see six thousand kilobits. So the I'm, that might just be normal bandwidth. Who knows? Who knows? One of these is wired and one is wireless, so they should be overlapping. Okay, let's. So let's see, if I turn this to segment two, wow, it is just delightful how my keyboard is just doing random shit. Yeah. OK, that should play. Fingers crossed. Oh, did it already fail? No, that's just the blast test output. Yeah. If only our unit tests ran that quickly. Import cross. 
Oh, you just... No, nobody asked for that, but you did it anyway. Wait, did it complain that you weren't using it? Yeah, it did. Oh, the compiler complains about it. Oh, because it's like doing the linting as well. Yeah. Okay. That works. Well, it satisfied that one thing. Let's, um, let's satisfy all the other tests. Um, you could also just export. You, you could just switch the name. So you could call this one segment ah. old, segment segment old, and then rename it, you know. Strong agree. Thank you for saving me the keystrokes. Same statement, old. Old and busted. Right, it's just so going to work. Test. I have a good feeling about this. I do, too. Uh, we didn't make up the math ourselves, which is always a, uh, a positive. <laughs> nice. Okay. Should we run the game? All time. That's the secret. The game, the game is always doing the game. Okay, so let's see. Let's get our debug mode on. All right, they're firing the purple laser at me. Okay, now here's here's the real test. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> nice. It okay, works. That's, that's great. Yeah, and uh, look at that. Very it's satisfying. Sort of, you can see it locking on to. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I like that you can kind of you can kind of get it to hit other stuff. Yeah. Just because it lags a little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. This debug draw is excellent too. It, it was a it was a really nice way of. That, yeah, and I like that we drew both lines because both lines are actually very helpful. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it points at like the line of sight and then also points at the thing that it would that it is block is blocking it, right? Yeah. It's telling you. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's like a little clock face going around. That's yeah. cool. Okay, sick. Uh we we did that we did our work. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, cool. And this is actually we're getting segment segment and we're also getting um, we're getting segment to ABB. Yeah, we are. That's wonderful. Yeah. This is great. Oh, I'm so stoked. Okay. I'm just gonna delete. Old, old. and busted. Yeah. Check old it. Old and gone. Uh, let's see. That means line formula is gone. In between is gone. And it's gonna be min max is gone. Great. We barely knew ya. And Those functions all like seemed a little smelly to me in the first place, <laughs> so I'm <laughs> glad. Yeah. This is uh, shorter than I expected it would be in the end. That came out good. Yeah. All right. Session 18. Uh, segment, segment. Bug segment mix. two. I was going to type electric boogaloo, but that means civil war now, so no. Oh, that's right. Is that like the uh, kind of like uh, that's the sort of like m militia movement kind of like we want to. What are they uprising against? Masks? Is that basically their complaint? Uh, they just want the second civil war to happen. I think they're uprising against everything. Yeah. Oh, uh, all protest yeah. looters, right? Right, right. Best Buy looters. Yeah. Uh, I should have looted this PC. Would yeah, have been, would have been the right thing to do. Militiamen for targets. What a bizarre world we live in, right? I was at the REI today, and there was some cops interrogating a guy who, like, I guess maybe shoplifted something. I was just like, why do you care? Why does anybody care? It's REI. Yeah. They're rich. They're rich, and they even pay well. Like, don't don't be their guards. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> Oh, What'd you get at REI? Uh, I got uh, a bear. I got a bear canister. <laughs> oh, are you going to camp? You're going camping. Uh, I was, and then my trip got canceled for last week. So now I have a bear canister, and now I can go camping where there are bears. You can sleep in your backyard. There's no bears here. Only, only the, only the cow bears, and thankfully they don't bust into dumpsters and rip off car doors. <laughs> bears are. I, 
Bears are scary. Have you been to Yosemite? Uh, I have been to Yosemite. Um, I agree that bears are scary, although uh, Bunny and I really enjoy uh, watching this one bear rescue on YouTube. And they just like feed the mm-hmm. bears, and the bears like hang out on these giant tire swings. And That's they feed, cool. they spoon feed them cake. It's really, it's really cool. The Aww. bears are great. Um, yeah, I would love to play StarCraft. Before that, um, let me give you a quick uh, rundown on some, a couple of changes I pushed. Uh, oh yeah, I, I I noticed there was a couple of commits in this history that I hadn't seen before. Yeah, um, uh, a small one is that I kind of I, I updated the debug draw system so that. Uh, I did the thing that I said I wasn't going to do, but I, I, I kind of liked it, actually. So there's now a debug draw function on the game. Okay. And I think you'll like it. Um, Render debug draw. Cool. Yeah, so basically, you pass it a, a closure, actually. Uh, and the reason why is that I, 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 I thought, well, maybe you want to do some arbitrary computation to make the debug draw renderables, but you actually don't want to actually calculate those if debug draw mode isn't on yet. Mm-hmm. Um, so you notice that line 150 is not going to run unless you pass line 147, right? It, in, unless the debug draw flag is on, we're not going to even bother calculating the, the render. Nice. nice. Um, so, uh, I, OK, cool. So now you can just call this from, from anywhere. And so I moved all of our debug drawing from the game into the places that care about it, right? Um, yeah, sorry, am I dropping out? I, I assume you can you can see it happen on your end when things get blocky, I guess. Uh, yeah, I haven't been looking at the stats, but uh, there you go, you're back. We'll we'll just tolerate it. Um, what I was saying though is I moved all of the calls to deep to like push debug draw renderables from the game into the systems and this scripts themselves. Yeah, I I love it, and I love that. Yeah, we can do this without actually worrying about any sort of actual adding renderables to the system. That's so cool. Yeah. I hadn't worried about it for a second, but then I realized all of our stuff in the scripts and in the systems was already in world space. So we just push world space renderables, and it will just know what to do, which is great. That's rad. Yeah. Um, so uh, the next thing I added w- changed, and this is very slight. I, I did the thing that I said I was going to do, and I renamed all of the logic components to script, and I think it makes it a little bit clearer. Ah, uh, that they're part of the system, uh, the it's ECS like, system. It's like on the turret, we've got a shooter script. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, we should treat them more like data than like logic, even though they are logic. Uh, mm-hmm. Because, you know, theoretically, ECS is supposed to have, you know, no business logic in the components, but we, we kind of cheat on that a little bit. But yeah. we treat them as scripts. Like, imagine that was Lua. You know, imagine that was just Lua. <laughs> um, or what does what does Unity use as a scripting language? Uh, C Sharp or JavaScript. They have JavaScript. You can use JavaScript for Unity, yeah. Oh yeah, that's great. Not TypeScript. It's like, and it has a bunch of weird Unity crap in it, but it's still JavaScript. Yeah, I I wonder um, I wonder how fast Lua is as an embedded language relative to JavaScript. Hmm. I guess it was never really about inter- interpretation speed, anyways. But people liked Lua because it was just like easy to integrate. But it feels like linguistically, Lua has. What would you consider Lua to be easier than JavaScript at this point? I don't know. I guess they're both kind of weird languages. Yeah, I never, I never really did that much Lua, but I, I found it pleasant. Yeah, I think the, the arrays are one indexed. <laughs> Man, that's such a that's such a choice, and I wish they wouldn't make it. <laughs> Dot also means colon colon, and colon means dot. So like you know like sc- like scope resolution versus oh, call no. something on the method. Yeah. Oh uh, wow! Just pick the exact opposite of Ruby. Okay. <laughs> Delightful. Yeah. Cool. And it, I noticed that the last change you made was to the map editor. Yes. So the, this is the big change. Oh. Uh, this was motivated by. Uh, what happened last time. So we can, uh, you might want to save another, you, you can make some edits uh, and you can save. That's just going to load the same thing. Yeah, you can just kind of mess with this. Oh, right, because this is probably the map I made before. Sweet. Yeah. So if I. Oh, I already see a bug. The save button doesn't work right now. You might need to reload. Ah, OK. 
I am not unset unsetting the IO flag. Ah, OK. And then if I hit save, that's great. And it just shows up somewhere. Yeah, and now you can load the original thing, uh, which is test.json. Nice. Oh, dude, this is clever. Cool. Uh, did it not work? Looks like it didn't work. Oh, uh, that was weird. Yeah, uh, cool. Maybe there are some kinks. It worked for me last night, but maybe. Yeah, a couple. OK. Whatever. That's great. OK, just, well, you kind of get saving, the idea. Just saving out is so good. Yeah. Um, the uh, the loading I kind of cheat on. I do the thing that I, it might be the way that this tool works forever. But what happens is I, I basically throw the contents of the file that you just loaded into local storage, and I reload the page. <laughs> Um, That's hilarious. Yeah, because I like otherwise you have to like destroy existing state, hmm. and then you have to like pick which state you want to keep and which one which 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 state you want to throw away. And I just said like, well, I want to make sure I get rid of everything. So I just said like, how can I reload the page and do it? So there's some kinks to it, but uh, you get the general idea. I'm so excited because now I can do bullshit like this. Yeah, it won't shoot at me. Ah, I love it. Look at all these systems we're building. Yeah. And I think undo, redo quickly follows up for this, the ability to clear it out. Um, yeah, if you reload, it should be fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I might, I might just make this the new map. Yeah, go ahead. That's pretty cool. Map two. Oh, and they live in maps now. Great. Nah, yeah, final name a test. It's unfortunately hard coded, yeah. Hey. What's uh, the deal? I think maybe parcel is Yeah, uh, yeah. Anytime you rename a file, parcel does not handle it particularly well. Oh, that's interesting. That kind of makes sense. It's in, its entire shtick is about like making making files happen easier. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if that's. <laughs> I, I love parcel, but I, that seems like it would be a difficult bug to fix. Mm -hmm. Oh, not even on the thing I want to look at. There you yes. go. Yes, oh, I love it. So that's a nice little quality of life improvement, I think. That's really cool. Yeah, you can't get through there. That's right. Thank goodness. Thanks, man. This game is fun. It's already fun, I think. Isn't that cool? It, it already is like, there's some stuff here. Oh, yeah. And see, you can get it to shoot the other guy. Aha, uh -huh, motherfucker. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be really hard, though. <laughs> yeah. Which is good. It should be hard. Yeah. I'm trying to do a nonviolent run here. Oh. Oh. One of the things I loved about the missile launcher that we should definitely do as one of the guns in this game, uh, the missile launcher in uh, Super Metroid, is that the missile accelerates. Like, it starts off really oh. slow, and then it kind of, like, accelerates really quickly. That thing is great. Yeah. yeah. Dude, this is so good. This is awesome. All right. Uh, I'm going to take a quick bio break, and then when we get, when I get back, I'm going to fire up some StarCraft and hopefully cool. not die of double clicks. I, I believe in us, yeah. I'm going to hit pause on the stream. We'll just start a new one after this, yeah? Uh, let's see. OK, so wait. How uh, Are you online? I am online. Oh, there you are. Uh, invite to party. Okay. I accept. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Now we've got... I can see your little cursor moving around. Okay, cool. Um... These are all freaking weird, is what I've figured out. Yes. It's like half StarCraft and half uh, Warcraft 3, which I kind of love. I 
think I'm gonna need to be one of the players in all skill levels that I've never played. These co ops are probably. Yeah. Okay, so really, it's one of the first three, which are just. Uh, can we be the same guy? Yeah, we can both be. We can totally both be Rainer. Okay, I need to play Terra because I don't really know how to play the other races. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm actually a big Gerdos fan. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Let's see what this guy's got. You have to remember all my hotkeys. <laughs> I was actually surprised how little had changed between um, between StarCraft, StarCraft One, and StarCraft Two. Mm -hmm. mm. How far did you get? More than you think, I think. A lot. Of I only things. got I only got through the first tutorial, so I might be dragging us back. I, you know what? We're just not gonna. Oh, if we pick the same character, it doesn't let me click ready, actually, so we can't do oh, the same. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. How, how dare you. Uh, it's so interesting. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be Artanis, and I'm gonna hit ready, and let's see what happens. Alright. And you're, and you're just getting pulled in. It's working? Mm-hmm. And free to play. We are streaming a game on Twitch. Dude, I never thought that I would do this. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't hear StarCraft, so that'll be my next thing to fix. We'll have to get a Windows... Audio router. Together. Yeah. 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 That's okay, I'll miss the thrilling story. I could audio hijack my StarCraft sounds to you, and so it'll be not only lagged, <laughs> but from the other, other person's perspective. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be really funny. Yeah. So, is this co-op... Is it the story, or is it just like a random scenario? It's... So I think I think we're doing random scenarios, and I think what's happening is that they took some story missions and some other missions and just retooled them completely. Okay. Got it. And then sort of turned them into, like, cooperative... Man, am I glad to see the two of you! My base is getting slammed by these Void Thrashers, yeah, and it can't take much here? more! I'm Don't too busy work. fighting fires in here to handle them myself. Her. You gotta destroy those thrashers before they destroy this fortress. Alright, Sergeant Hammer. I don't know where you are, but... God, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm scared. That rift over yonder? <laughs> that's how a thrasher appears on the that battlefield. Get ready to that's, welcome that's it, would you? I see that rift over yonder. Okay, I do you see that rift over yonder. I don't remember how much everything costs. Oh, okay. It's starting to come back to me just a little bit. <laughs> I like how the SCVs automatically start uh, mining. That's a nice efficiency advantage. Yeah. I and... think you had to waypoint them before. Uh, yeah, you totally did. Uh, the other thing I love is that your base has a on it. Oh, right, yes. Definitely like anti-heavy regular things in my Whatever Gerdos SCVs are called, probes. Get some minerals, get some gateway. Ah, Marine is now the A button. I thought it was M in the past. Mm. Some of my twitch reflexes coming back. And we, you, the, the idea is like two SUVs or two probes per crystal. Is that still the uh, recommended ratio? I th it doesn't matter as long as you the, the worker count on your command center will always be the maximum you can put in there. And just like... Yeah, I think what I mean is more about like in terms of not crowding the space. Oh, it just, uh, they don't run into each other anymore, I think it just... Oh, they don't run into each other, okay, that's great. Yeah, I think, I think they just made that not a problem, because that was a really big problem. We are the blades of fire. Hey, look, we already, you got five marines? Shield <laughs> overcharge available. How do you... Much, you much more army. Well, they're, they're, they're kind of, they die very easily. How do you uh, group guys together again? Uh, uh, select them and then it's control number to do your, uh, yeah. Control on the Mac 2, I wonder. On the, on the Mac 2, yeah. 
Oops. Got a TV in there. Not what I wanted. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, one of the changes I like for the Protoss is they have this uh, work concept where my units mm -hmm. actually appear, and you can't really see my screen, but ah. they appear. Oh. What's up? <laughs> uh, I accidentally sent. It's my double click mouse. I accidentally sent all my SUVs to mine. Vespine oh, gas. No. That is too much of that. The double quick mouse is going to be a funny one for this, isn't it? How, yeah, how large can the. Uh, ooh, what? Train Marauder? What's a Marauder? Ah, okay. Yeah, now, now you're getting to the dark units. The Marauders are. Uh, we stand I think all like right, time to punch underground. in! Your objective is to knock down that Thrasher! Oh man, I got Dragoons? Oh yeah! Now? There's no dragons in Starcraft. You Crafts must construct this additional pylons. You must construct um, additional pylons. So Marauders attack the ground, and they have a thing that can. Marauders are like. Do we bring enough guys? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we brought enough. Uh, it's a little bit. Your trash is slain. Boy, I always wish. You must construct additional right. pylons. Looks like we got several risks to deal with. Hope you're uh, up for this. You know what? The enemy moves against us. We will meet them head on. Uh, so also, if you, uh, I can see your map. So if you look over here, uh huh, you've got a second base, but it's got some rocks. You gotta destroy it before you start mining it. Oh. Oh, also, watch out, you guys are about to. Uh, dude, oh man. Don't worry about it. That's the way, reason why I like the Terrans is that they're uh, yeah, you just you just pop they're just they're pretty ex they're pretty expendable. Yeah. Uh, there's no more medics, but the thing that was medics is now. Yeah, the uh, the AI doesn't feel quite as smart. <laughs> well, actually, no. There's a lot of like. Quality of life improvements there, like the SUVs will kind of just the witness Oh, there's two Vespian gas things here. Hmm? Ah! This double clicks thing is going to be a, an interesting challenge. Yeah, that is very good. Okay, my, my keyboard can't type any of the right letters on the Mac, so. Uh... God, honestly, this Windows PC just kind of works really well, and I'm a little grumpy. Because you're a Mac guy, is that? Yeah, well, it's just like... I don't know, I, like, I had all my stuff sorted out, but this does just work extremely well. What should I, I be wanna, building? I don't want to have to switch stuff. Let's, uh, you you require game. more Vespine gas. Justice be done. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. So you should be building, you got a lot of marines. You should put uh, either, uh, so you can build add-ons for your things now. That was a target oh. one too. Yes. Um, but like you want like a, the reactor lets you build two at once, and the tech lab lets you build one off. So that's where stuff like that. Nope. Honestly, the tech tree in this mission is different. Ooh, so, so, uh, let's see. I think we need to get prepared Four to go to the right too. Okay. Uh, oh shoot. Complete. I started a bunch uh, of projects. That's okay. I, uh, not the void uh, thrashers no, are yeah. on the field. Take them out, commanders. Same. 
Upgrade complete. Much more. I was not You have not enough minerals. I'm bringing, I'm bringing my dudes up there. Must construct additional pylons. If you want to come up here too, we can start. Uh, yeah, why don't you give me one second? Sergeant Hammer can hang on the Sergeant Hammer. Poor Martinez. The sun is gone. All right, I'm on my way. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough upgrades. Hey! The fortress is under attack! Soften some of the shit up. We cannot allow it to fall. Uh, huh. Oh, that's not Engaging foe. Okay, I want. Yeah, the Micromansion is actually one of the things that I'm not super looking forward to and learning to play this game again. You have not enough minerals. Started started hammer barrel. Enemy forces detected. Prepare our defense. Oh, I, I see. So there are also a bunch of dudes coming through here. Man, how many of these thrashers are they going to send? Better get ready to handle them. Oh, I have stim packs. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, something is coming into our pace. All right, I got some dudes. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Okay. I feel like I feel like we're getting a little more stable now. I am gonna build a second base. You have not enough minerals. Maybe. Maybe time to consider that. Yeah, I'm sending guys over there. We are the blades of iron. Oh yeah. See, we're gonna be on. We're gonna be attacking your side this time. So. You have not enough minerals. Shift click carry. to add. Oh yes, I'm start. The little reflex is starting to come back a little bit. <laughs> I want. Still, it's still, it's still Starcraft. Lock and load. It's time oh, to wow. clear okay, out the thrashers. <laughs> Can you actually have SCVs help build things? Oh, you totally can. Yeah, wonderful. That's all okay. only, only the turn. Yeah, I think you can. Are we getting attacked? Uh, sort of. What is shooting those big beams? What is that? That's the. That, that is Oh. Whatever, whatever. Oh, yeah, look at that! Oh, this double click. <laughs> Probably a good idea to destroy it before they can use it. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the fighting. This is always the, this is always the, the, the difficult part of Starcraft, is just like figuring out what to pay attention to. So, you know, that saves the bad. Part. Ready yourself. Yeah, you we must ensure its survival. Hey, oh my 
This sucker moves fast. You have not enough minerals. Alright. So theoretically there is more baddies. Alright, let's see. You got you got a lot of marines. I think you should build a starport to get your meta back. To get my what back? Your your meta back. The, your healing unit. Because they don't make medics anymore, which sucks. They don't make medics anymore? No, the medics became like your training option as well, which is like... Uh... There's your objective, oh, Commander! No, there's medics! Show there's medics! Oh, like, everything I know about Zarka plus... We got enemy oh, forces okay. inbound on our base! Let's see, uh... Watch out for your marines on the right side. Taking some serious heat here! Boy Thrashers ain't letting up! The Templar will see to its protection. How do I set? How do I set waypoints for why? For, like for my barracks. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, just uh, right click on the ground. Oh yeah, yeah. Why worked as well. Oh. Well, that's nice. Fortress is under fire. If anyone wants to go and kill a Void Thrasher, I'd be much chill. obliged. I don't know what their deal is, but uh. Raiders, assume defensive positions. I'm just playing on your MacBook, by the way. Plays fine. Great. It's so awesome we have like superpowers that are at the top that I just haven't even looked at yet. I'm just gonna like turn out shit ton of marines. That's just my game. Can you, can you get some medics too? Get, get some medics. You'll be you'll be happy. Otherwise, I'm down for that game. My meditation is over. We are the blades of fire. Are okay. you here? There she stops. You have not enough minerals. We got some visitors heading for our base, and they don't look too friendly. Look out, there's uh, some guys coming over. Ah, great. Um, I'm gonna go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, 
fortress is under some pretty heavy fire. Are we, we just gonna like cross this bridge now, or pronto. maybe? Yeah. yeah. The position's been marked. Gonna, Let's keep that thing intact. Some uh, detection. Yeah, it's Honestly, yeah, we're good. Okay. Should right. we go Let's in? Let's send the zealots in first. Okay. Yeah. Oh god, bit of a long game. Void thrashers are starting to burn a hole through the fortress's ceiling! So, you know, that tastes bad. Taking some serious heat here. Void thrashers ain't letting up! All that, just to hightail it out of here? Mobius Corps ought to be ashamed of themselves. We, uh, now that was a fight! Ha. Just gotta do it three more times is all! I mean, I can hear it in Santa's chance. That's it! One last boy thrasher! Send that thing to hell! I'm gonna shoot it. Whoa. Ah, victory's never tasted sweeter. Huh. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I feel I feel kind of exhausted actually. <laughs> I got I got an achievement. Pool party. Go to war chest? What does that do? Uh, that's their free to play thing. They oh. want you to like they have a bunch of unlocks and skins and stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. What the heck? Okay, cool. Well, do you wanna try try again? Yeah, let's do it. Alright. That was um, fun. It was it was stressful. <laughs> um I deserve. I'm gonna try the Zerg. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, oh, I'm gonna do the right. same thing again, just a bunch of Marines and Medics. Yeah, follow, follow your heart. Um, my heart is about simplicity. <laughs> oh, okay. If I if you click on to them, I can see each person gets a subtly different set. Oh, let's see. Okay. I'm looking at the model for Jim Rayner, and it doesn't really seem like his arms can actually go where the arms are in his armor. Like, where his head you know, is. I've been trying to figure this out forever. Um, yeah. Isn't it weird? I, I don't actually think his marine arms are, are where his actual arms are. Yeah. And then you click over to carry and carry and you're like, oh, okay, they didn't even give her skin. Oh. Uh, yeah. Do they have sexy Protoss? They, they appear to have... It's just ridiculous, yeah. these characters. I think there's a sexy Protoss somewhere. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The, the one I've got selected. There you go. I mean, the, certainly both genders are sexy, but, like, there, there's just, like, Blizzard has this thing about, like... Well, it's, like, shoulder Kind of creepy... No shoulder pads. Exactly, yeah. Or just, like, the, the complete... Of shoulders. Yeah. There, there's a really good article online, uh, maybe Polygon, maybe The Verge, uh, called like Blizzard and their manic pixie nightmare girls, uh, and just how they have a like a very strange um, narrative fascination with um, female characters that become kind of anti-heroes through. What is essentially like a dynamic of rape, right? Um, I think Kerrigan mm. has that aspect to her. Mm -hmm. Kerrigan, um, it happens to um, the one of your companions in Diablo 3 who becomes Diablo. Uh, 
through a very similar process. There's the Overwatch sniper character, apparently also the same thing. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. A Widowmaker, right. Uh, yeah. And then... And Warcraft I, has Sylvanas. Yes. Same thing. I never played Warcraft 3, but... Or World of Warcraft... Which, which is it Warcraft 3? It happens in Warcraft 3, and like okay. you, you, the player character, do it to her in like the second act of the game. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like you're, the, you're the one who does it, which is... You're, you are the hypothetical rapist in that uh, scenario. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I noticed I, I, I played... I played like I remember playing the StarCraft campaign when it came out, and then playing Diablo three, and I was like a big Blizzard fan. And I was like, wait a minute, these are just the exact same strange story beats like wrapped on yeah. top of two different games. And like, what like did they forget? <laughs> right? And it's really just like they must have like a yeah, it's whatever whatever their fascination is. They can't seem to get off of it. That's too bad. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it is very weird though, right? Like, what 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 is more mainstream than Blizzard games, right? And uh, yeah. it, you know, the, the subtext is full of like these bizarre kind of, I don't know if it's juvenile, but very kind of caveman, you know, not yeah, cave person, caveman kind of instincts. Yeah, and it's too bad because I feel like at a certain time they were doing new things. Uh, yeah. But now it's, it's kind of in a, a strange place, so. Yeah. And, and the thing is, it's not like, you know, like, I think all of, we're not feminist frequency here, right? We're just, like, pointing out, I think, something that's, that's fairly obvious. And, um, uh, it, yeah. the, the particular twist that, that, that Blizzard has, where it's just like, I, I, I need these, like, damaged women, right? Whose, whose superpowers and allure come from the fact that they were, like, essentially tortured, right? Yeah. Uh, it's but, very weird. But also, you spend the entirety of StarCraft trying to save them, too. Ah! Ah, nice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, a bummer. <laughs> uh, uh, I just realized I can turn up the difficulty. So let's go from casual to normal. Okay. That sounds good. I think we can handle normal. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna play this dude who looks like he chugged too much Red Bull so much that it's coming out of his eyes. <laughs> and he's strapped more Red Bull to his chest just in case. Oh yeah, that's um... I, I'm not even joking. He looks like a were werewolf. Uh-huh. I'm playing as the Mecha Zerg. How do I change my icon? Right now I'm like, I've got like a, like a goateed or butt-chinned oh, yeah. white guy I, thing. I think, there... I think you're the SCV driver. Uh, you know what? That's fine. I, I, yeah, I want the pro. Yeah, I want a pro. I want a proletarian. I like. Yeah, you are the worker. Yeah. Okay, wait. So we have. What are we doing? We're fighting our way to the evacuation ships and defend the ships when they launch. Okay, sure. Not enough minerals. Mecha. Not enough minerals. Mecha Zerg. Look at my face. Look at my this face. This is Deborah Green. <laughs> Guildmaster of the local Kelmorian oh, yeah. mining crew. My people have to be evacuated as soon as possible. Our ships can't start their launch sequences without attracting the infested. Yeah, we need you to protect us until we're up in the air. Ah, double click. I'll send you the coordinates of our ships. <laughs> you set up a perimeter at one oh, of them. Man. Its pilot will start the launch sequence. That sucks. Pump out some new overlords. I'm just whining. <laughs> I should be surprised if the mechas are very good. Not enough minerals. Put out some more stenolites to rev up my little buddies! It's kinda cool. Wait, I don't understand. I have a structure called Gary's room? What the fuck is Gary? Gary, Gary will revive the room. I want a gun, Gary. Like, yeah, am I gonna get a gun? Gary? Is Gary like this? That's the only thing I know about Gary. Yeah. I do, I do love making just infinite Zerglings. 
ground units. Ah, uh, interesting. Alright, Gary, Gary better get his ass together soon. Gary actually. I want more Gary in my life. Yeah, and you know what, it doesn't even it doesn't even matter who Gary is at this point. <laughs> we just need him. Yeah, we're just we're just we're just big Gary. Yeah. Uh, oh what do you mean uh, not enough minerals? I do satellites. Oh what the fuck? This is like a Zerg Protoss thing. Okay, cool. I don't care, I do like it. Stat zones. Oh man, I've I've picked a very strange character to play. <laughs> But you've got Gary. Uh, shortly. Shortly. He's almost here. As soon as, soon as Gary arrives, I will let you know exactly how cool Gary is. My people don't have much time. Ooh. They gotta launch soon, whether you're there or oh, okay. not. Uh... I don't like these demanding people. I know, they're really... it's... Sure. Deployment successful! I am ready to destroy! Okay, so we're... Well, I'm over here defending the transport, I guess. Ah! <laughs> Double click. Double click. <laughs> oh my god, wait, I've got Holding. that. What is this? What is I will follow I want your command, Gary. Master! Gary. Oh, Gary! Is that a science ship? I will do it! Uh... Oh, man. Gary... Gary is inexplicable right now. What should we do? Command received. I like Gary. Yeah. That damn fool pilot started the like engines. Okay, Commanders, great. that ship won't make it on its own. This, this, this NPC here is quite demanding. Save me, damn it. How dare you. Uh, Look I'm gonna at take that your clunky old Terran tech. <laughs> he almost <laughs> feels sorry uh, for them. Anything for my best friend. Our allies are being attacked. Ooh, I, it's got, I just got this like soft country uh, soundtrack. I like God, hold on a Those monsters oh, are already clawing through the hull. Okay. The ship just needs to last for five seconds. I am listening. Okay, that ship's on its way I don't out. Know what happened? Time to focus I on thought I built a bunch of guys, but uh, the queue seems to be... Sorry, I'm a little bit slow right now. No, it's okay. I think they all got murdered. Oh. By whom? Uh, by the infested Terrans that were just messing us up good. Interesting. Interesting. Oh god. Using so different no satellite configurations yeah, will really click, help. Yeah. Hostiles are heading directly for one of the ships. You have to stop them. Let's get those 
hydro. Satellites on the battlefield. What's happening? Okay. All right, we're being. We call see. that thing Blightbringer. Meanest Zerg I've ever seen. Take out. You might want to take it out if you can. Keep saying the word. Anything for fire. If Amon's forces yeah. reach the ship, they'll destroy it in no time. Do you not let that happen. Up. Yeah, I guess. Spawn more of those lovable overlords. Listen. Affirmative. Whatever you need. I'm coming. I'm I coming. That ship a right, yeah, let's, more time. let's uh, it let's might make consolidate all maybe. And I need another. Okay, wait. If we uh, hang on. Uh, Anything for my yes. Yeah. What's our objective right now? Uh, we need to initiate the launch sequence. Should we do that? Yeah. Yeah. We're let me, doing uh, it. Okay. <laughs> I really want to do it. Oh wait. Oops. Great. I moved them off. Shit. That's okay. Uh, I think I think we've initiated. Whatever yeah, you yeah. need. Oh, I see. Oh, I will follow you your have to hang out there. Master Egon. Yeah. 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 All right. He's fine. We're fine. Oh, of course. What is that thing? Keep your guard up. You'll have to keep the infested at bay. Yeah. What is your command, Master? Anything for my best friend. Blabbringer won't stay above ground forever. If you're gonna kill it, you should do it soon. Affirmative. Our allies are being attacked. Time to spawn more overlords. Cover the battlefield and satellites. Oh, they're super helpful and Look they look great. Yeah. I will do it. Your forces are under attack. Spawn more of those lovable overlords. Your forces that ship's plating won't keep the infested out for long. You need to fight them off. The enemy is on the way, little buddies! Get out there and say hello! Our allies are being attacked. Upgrade complete. Oh, dude, you are Command received. Your forces are under attack. I will follow your command, Master Egon! Ooh. Anything for yeah, my best friend. Your forces. Those oh. people are in danger, commanders. They will die oh, without your help. Don't worry. <laughs> it's very uh. I'd say roughly half my crew still uh, needs evac. We're counting on you. It's like one of those RPGs where they're like, you are the only person in the world who can possibly save us. <laughs> Uh, 
Where should I send my guys if I have guys? That's a good question. Anything for my best friend! Um, somewhere somewhere in this this direction. Because the other ship is down here. There our next ship. Whatever you need! And that'll be our next place. I will follow your command, Master Ego! Affirmative! I like your mechanism. Those eradicators are out of control. Right? It could be dangerous. If you can. Try to break them down. I, I too, and so Labrador's made its escape. Makes me nervous knowing it's somewhere out there. The enemy's making a beeline toward a ship. Don't let them reach it. Every it's what's really funny is every building is like called. Should we initiate the second launch sequence? Complete. Um yes. I noticed the thing is. I will follow out. your command, Master Egon! Yeah, let's do it. Whatever. <laughs> there is a thing coming at us, isn't there? Yes, Egon? Yeah, it's fine. Hold the line while the engines are warming up. Just... Our allies are being attacked. Time to deploy more Stedalite! Complete. You is the unit limit higher in this game, or is it still 200? We owe you big. It's still 200. Okay. I'm like, uh, command, Master yes. Egon. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. It's easier for me to reason about. Mm-hmm. Our right, allies are being there. attacked. Our allies are being attacked. Assimilation. Our forces are under thing, I attack. Mecha, mecha, mecha. Our allies are being attacked. I will follow your command! We got some visitors heading for our base. They don't look too friendly. I was like, where'd you go? You're just, you're just pushing no through it. Sorry, I, I, I'm actually not paying very close attention to what's going on. Yep, doing, doing perfectly. I am listening. Evacuation in progress. We're in your deck, commanders. You can't attack the eradicators after they're back in the facility. Hurry up if you want to destroy them. Let's see, I think something's about to come mess up your our base over here. Oh. Yes, Egon? Head back for that. Oh, they're going it's going for your base? Oh, no, it's a drop. I will do it. Is it a drop? Is it just by the Gladiator's order? Our oh, allies base is on your time. I will do it. I kind of want to try killing one of the big things. Upgrade complete. I feel like, I feel like we got this map locked down. Where are we going? Mm, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We might. The enemy might just stepped their back. We don't have cross, much time. But, uh, you're My best friend. Incoming enemy attack. They're headed for one of the ships. I am happy to slaughter for My best group. Alright. Uh, Wait. I will do it. Your forces are under attack. Are we going the wrong way? Is that the is that the deal? Get I mean, some more Stenolites out there. It's the only way we can win this. Your forces are under attack. Yeah, I guess. 
<laughs> they, like, this part of the map had been revealed already, so I thought it was tiny, so there was something else. Your over. forces are under attack. Sensors are up. Amon's forces are closing the distance. They have to be stopped. Listening. The enemy's painted a target on my people's back, and they're taking aim. <laughs> this character is just like haranguing us for support. <laughs> save, just saw the eradicators the retreat to the facility. Forget about them. They're not a threat anymore. Affirmative. Don't know why these guys want us dead, but I'm glad you're here to defend us. Well, that's one fewer disaster to worry about. Thank you, commanders. Of course. Sensors are optimal. Should I trigger the launch uh, where you're standing? Your command, Master Egon. Mm, yeah, I guess so. That might All be. Right. That might be it. Huh? It's the, uh, we gotta do, we gotta do four more. of them. I will do it. Oh, it says you gotta do, defend four, so I think that's it. What is your We're just too good at this. Listening. Where's my ultra lists? Just a few of my people are left on the planet. We're almost there. Grade complete. Our allies are being Your attacked. forces are under attack. <coughs> you have to put that in a power field. Our allies are being attacked. Anything for us? Pump out some new overlords! Your forces are under attack. What is your command, Master? Our allies are being attacked. We are extremely power right now. I'm detecting an enemy attack. They're heading towards us now. I will follow your command, Master Egon. Our allies. That ship attacked. is taking damage from the infested commanders. Under attack. Not enough. Your forces are under attack. Anything for I am. For the record, the neck of the It was a super what? Oh, this neck of the record. All the others are attacked. This guy's just like that. I will follow your command, Master Egon. Your forces are under attack. Wait, let me tell you, I have lots of Cover the battlefield in steadilites. They're super yeah, helpful sure. and sure. they look great. Our allies' base is under attack. Yep. None can stand against oh, yes. my mecha so swarm! <laughs> Oh my! Not bad, not bad. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I got zero XP from that. Oh, never mind. It's filling up. God, I hope not. <laughs> stats. I want to check out my stats. Oh yeah, we got some. We got some good stats. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> we do have stats. Damage okay, dealt by Gary. Dealt by Gary. I could have had a Gary. Is that true? <laughs> no, no, Gary. Gary was my. Unit. Oh, I think I get a Hyperion. Yeah, Gary. Gary is like the special, the special thing for this guy, I guess. Yeah. What chat room are we looking at right now? With Probably. Scumbag Ernst and Fluffy Fang. Seems like world chat. That's too bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, delightful. Well, that was yeah. great. So, general impressions, uh, a lot of the, the sort of original StarCraft Twitch Reflex, which I really haven't exercised since... I think the last time I played StarCraft was probably 12 years ago, I think. Nice. Still yeah. mostly StarCraft. It is still mostly StarCraft. Um, yeah, you know, to be honest, I actually remember, remember in 2000. 10, I was in Taipei, and the Modern Art Museum there was doing a Blizzard exhibit, wow. which was ridiculous. Right, it was just all like game assets on the walls and stuff. Um, and uh, a lot of it was about 
I want to say Diablo 3 was coming out. Mm -hmm. But there was some Sounds StarCraft great. 2. Yeah, there was some StarCraft 2 going on there too. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Star StarCraft definitely has this kind of like, you can get in this flow state. They've really kind of like locked it in really well where you're just kind of sucked in and like your whole brain is engaged, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh man, I got. I think you have you got a lot of portraits you can change yourself to. Oh. Yeah. How does one change it? Do I need to just buy the game? Is that what? I don't know. I clicked. I clicked on my face, and then I got a bunch of things. Change on. portrait. There you go. Oh, it's like loading now. What happened? I don't know, but it does for some reason decide to load. Are people like into the StarCraft storyline? <laughs> like, I don't know. I always, I always enjoy campaigns for these things, but really just because they like throw some interesting stuff at you. Yeah. Oh, cool. So I can pick other people. Great. But why would you when you could be a proletariat hero? It's true. Well, I, I can also be swimming pool party and star party. Which apparently is like a pterodactyl and some Super Mario stars. Alright, that's pretty cool. These must be people who won? Couldn't, couldn't tell you. I'll, I'm gonna stick with the proletarian. I'm, I'm actually into it. <laughs> I've, uh, I've switched to infested Russian. Also pretty good. I wish I, I wish I had that. Do I need to buy yeah. this game? Is that was that is that the deal? Uh, this one, yeah, I had to beat some submission in the past. Oh, I see. This is all the tchotchkes you get when you. you this get is why they have you get yeah, achievements here. Precisely. Well, people must get really into this, right? Can you get hats? Are there hats? Yeah. No, I don't think I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! There's there's achievements for us to. There's co-op achievements that we haven't gotten yet. Gosh. Okay. Gosh, the sort of I don't know if this is called metagame or whatever they do to like incentivize gameplay outside of the actual game itself. It, it feels like that's where all the investment has been in the game development side of things, or or at least the engineering side of things. It's just like erecting this <laughs> massive superstructure around the core gameplay, right? Yeah. Weird. I, I'm kind of curious how the um, how the modding community is for StarCraft 2. Like, how weird does it get? I don't know. The problem is that since everything is fully like going through a server now, like you can make custom maps with their tools, but you really can't put any of your own assets in here because someone else controls the server. It's all net play. So there's let no, me ask you no local play. Yeah. Let me ask you a, a totally tangential question on, on, on along the same lines. What do people do now that people don't have their own like MP3 collection or their own CD players? Yeah. What do people do when they want to sample music? Mm -hmm. And what do they do when they want to like slow it down to learn how to play a piece? I have no clue. That's a right? great question. Because that used yeah. to be a thing that you could like totally do. That's how you did it. Yeah. Pre-streaming, right? Like in the heyday of like, hmm. I'm torrenting all my music. Right. You just would have. That's that's the reason why you had an external hard drive, right? Was because you had just like this massive volume of like stolen media, and you would be able to kind of like chop stuff up and sample from it, and and like there was these programs that would play stuff at half speed, so you could learn how to play them and that sort of thing. What do people do nowadays? I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's YouTube, right? You you fire uh, it up on YouTube and just yeah. And there's a lot of YouTube rippers, so that might be the place. That's the the one place where things have to go through your system, sort of in a structured and unencoded way. Yeah. Yeah. Bizarre. Well, very bizarre. Th this was a, this was a fun twofer. Definitely. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna exit StarCraft right now, so I don't keep hearing this like weird operatic <laughs> bizarre score. If I can figure out how to do it. Oh, here we go. Exit. Oh yeah, you know there's a lot of com command Q or anything like that. Ah oh, yes, yeah. There's a there's a lot of uh there's a lot of UI. Mm -hmm. that. Um, yeah. So, if 
our game is less frenetic than StarCraft, mm -hmm. I think that's a success, right? Yeah, I, I don't want to make a twitchy game. Yeah. And, and, and what is it about StarCraft that makes it frenetic? Is it, I think it's just the, the number of, the amount of simulation that's going on, right? Well, yeah, and success in the game is measured in hundreds of actions per minute. Like, you can, the whole thing is configured such that you're better at it if you do things faster, which, like, I don't know. Yeah. It's less, less like chess and more like DDR. Yeah, I think what we want is... Uh, more real time tactical game than rather than real time strategy, mm -hmm. and what I mean by tactical is, I guess in a way it's kind of more hero driven, right? It would be a little bit more adjacent to something like uh, Warcraft three or, or or maybe even the Dodos of the world. Although uh, so I was I was thinking I was I'm more interested in like sort of upgrading the player character in this real time strategy framework. Yeah. Yeah. Weapon collection. Mm -hmm. um, I like the idea of all the tanks being kind of equal in their capabilities. To start or always? Uh, to start. Yeah. I really, I really enjoyed. I don't know if you played um, Tonight We Riot or whatever it was called, but I liked the way that game became about having a collection of things. Like you gain power by the more little follower units you have. Yeah, that's not the first time you mentioned that, so I should play that game, right? I should get it. It's, I mean, support the socialist developers at the very least, yeah. <laughs> it, it was in that gigantic Black Lives Matter, like, Humble Bundle, that where you could buy, like, a thousand games. <laughs> oh, great, yeah, if you got that, it's probably in there somewhere. I did not get that, unfortunately. Oh. Um, but uh, I'll buy it on Switch, actually. I think that's, like, the right platform to play it on. And Switch is the right platform for almost everything. Yeah, except the fact that, like... Uh, I think we mentioned this before, like the Switch is now the console that like you and your partner play. And so there's actually a bit of like resource contention there, you know? And you can't buy a second one in the quarantine. People can get Switches. You just have to pay like $600 for them, right? That's just like it's, how much. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, that's just how much they are. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also think the idea of being able to like build things in the play field as you're fighting. I like that a lot. Is is an exciting mechanic, right? Mm -hmm. and it's just not about it's not about like the base management. That's that is StarCraft. It's more about the strategy of putting something down and using it that way. Yeah, and if there's context switching, I'd prefer if the context switching was happening in view rather than mm -hmm. like you having to be like sort of ambiently aware of your five bases, right? I I agree with that. Yeah, because because I think that actually is a key text or subtext of starcraft is the sort of like oh god there's a, all these other things i need to like pay attention to but i only right. have like one one pair of eyes kind of thing mm -hmm. yeah. yeah it's it's the it's you're simulating being a general instead of a character right like you're a you're a battlefield commander you're sort of like like there's no there's no player character that keeps the camera on them yeah but at least if you're a general, you could delegate, right? <laughs> like a real yeah, life sure. army is kind of about like, you know, uh, I yeah. don't know. Um, but yeah, so uh, the learnings from StarCraft, like I, I do want to have a little bit of like a resource or even RPG type kind of like, can, can you grind a little bit to kind of like make yourself more successful in battle? Right? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's, that element... Um, has been in all video games to a certain degree, but I feel like in the modern day, like every game is a role playing game, right? Like, um, even like Yakuza is a role playing game fully, yep. right? Yep. Uh, I, feel like you're, I feel like you're describing some of the good aspects of Fortnite too, where like, in yeah. fact, success in that game involves like scavenging a lot, a little bit of luck, and also like being really tactical about like what structures you throw down and build. Yeah. Yeah, so, so so maybe I need to play Fortnite. I'm so scared to play Fortnite, to be honest. Like, we, we can stream some Fortnite. Yeah, we could. We could. You can play um, it on your iPad, man. You can play it on anything. <laughs> How do you play Fortnite on your iPad? Do you just have a controller in your hand? Uh, they have touch controls, but you can also... Yeah, I guess... I guess you can pair a PS4 controller with it now. You can play on your PS4. I don't know if we can party up that way. You would think Fortnite would have crossplay at this point. I'm not. Sometimes things get weird about crossplay between mouse and not mouse things. Cause it's an advantage to have a mouse. 
Yeah. I know you can crossplay in Minecraft, but Minecraft isn't exactly. It's Minecraft, yeah. 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 We should uh, we should clearly stream some Fortnite and get wrecked by some teens because they're good at it. Can you? Is it always PvP? Like, is there a choice? They were talking about making a PvE campaign, and like, it never came out. Okay. Yeah. So, so everything you do in Fortnite is in the context of eventually killing some other real life people. Is that right? Uh, except that they they do have like a party mode now, which there's no killing, but also no shooting. It's oh. just like they they made it they made a social social island to go with the fighty island. So it's like second second life, basically. Yeah, it is. Just weird. Do they have issues where they like the thing? There was like a weird thing in. Um, I want to say it's, it was PlayStation Home. Did you? I don't ever played that, but do you? I never do you got know? it. No. Okay, the PlayStation Home is was the second life of the PlayStation mm-hmm. world, and they were like, <laughs> this is like sort of mid aughts Sony. They were really into like weird ideas. Um, I remember when I was developing on PS3, uh, they were all in on the 3D TV. They were like, this is the future, right? Whew, well, um, I missed the boat on that one, huh? Yeah. Well, I, I think that's the problem when you're also a TV company. Is you're like the confirmation bias there? You can see it like a mile away, right? It's like we build, we 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 can make three D TVs. We're the best at that, so therefore, this is the future of what people want, right? Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it's silly. <laughs> um, but so PS Home. Uh, sorry, I'm getting into the gender politics of video games uh, a, a lot. Um, but uh, well, not that that's a bad thing per se. No, right? no, but, no. Like, so I was gonna say it's uh, it's kind of built into the industry at this point because yeah. if you don't you're ignoring a whole bunch of weird shit it, it is topical too right because right now yeah. i think the video game industry uh has this very belated me too moment right now which is great like, uh, i feel like also like again it's happened it feel like it's happened before i'm just like you didn't get them all the first time like yeah again. but so playstation home had this thing where like like you would just like a bunch of male characters would basically mob a female avatar. Oh. That was like the thing you would do. And, like, and that was like all that was, apparently. Like it was just like if you played a female avatar, you would invariably just get mobbed by a bunch of male and that was just like a fun thing to do in PS in PS Home or something like that. Weird. I'm not sure if that translated to other kind of second life e game. Like, did it happen in the Sims? Does it happen I don't know. in Yeah. I think I mean it still happens on voice chat and stuff, so Ugh. Like female avatars getting harassed, or or like if you have a female presenting voice, they're they're you get harassed, or like people grief kill your character or something on your own team. Yeah, got it. Overwatch Overwatch has a huge gender problem where like the characters are very varied, but the players aren't, so they like not heal women on the team or something. What? Dude, it's weird. It's it's so it's such a strange thing to even consider that like yeah. They won't heal the female characters. They won't heal f- heal the female players. They won't. They won't. They won't heal players who are women if they like hear them on voice chat. They'll they'll like let them die instead of healing them. And that's is, like is the, the idea that it's, it's like an un- unconscious thing or is it a con- conscious thing or some? Oh, I mix. think it's I think it's definitely people like choosing choosing to be assholes. It's that whole girls can't play games thing. That's really weird. like why would i even do that you know right exactly it doesn't it doesn't make any sense it's almost harder to do that right like because other like you have to like you have to add that like little like conditional branch in your brain as you're playing <laughs> right it would almost be simpler to not have it yeah it's a very strange fucking brain rot that is in some people and i do not get it but yeah do you need to get pizza in you yeah, I had a slice. I'm gonna go have another slice. Okay. I'm gonna chill out. I'm going to Tahoe tomorrow. So. Oh my God. Bring your bear canister. Mm, staying, staying in the cabin. <laughs> so socially distancing <laughs> in the cabin. Okay. Um, you have a crowd of people that you're going with, or just a. A, your a partner couple. Or... It's, I, I think it's like three or four folks. So yeah. Yeah. And small, you're trying small. to you're gonna socially distance within the cabin. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's got their own spot. So. Okay. And then kind of, yeah. All right. 
Well, uh, best of luck with that. Dude, uh, I, yeah, I've, I've been invited. I don't know. It's going to be complicated. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not thrilled about traveling when the world is kind of burning down again. But uh, we'll see. Yeah. I'm not going to get COVID. That's my plan. Yeah, please do not. It's I've heard bad things. I've heard bad things. I hear you have to like go to the beach or something. Whatever, whatever those teens are doing. Bars, beaches, restaurants. I'm going to try to stay away from all but four people. It's going to be fine. Okay. Well, enjoy that. Uh, Thank you. And then uh, uh, we got we got like a start of a fun game happening here. We're gonna. It's so good. Pro- probably we're at the point now where we should start writing down what we want because it can go in like there's an unlimited number of projects. Um, yep. And yep. I've been kind I... of doing the follow my heart strategy so far, but um, maybe having a sense of prioritization would 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 help. I don't want OKRs or anything like that. I just want. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do some quality of life stuff, like get health on the screen, get some game over and restart and, and try to try to complete the loop on some systems so we can think about like playing a full session. Yeah, you know, it's funny because a, a, a lot of that like health bar stuff is actually going to be important to do because like <laughs> there's architectural concerns. When we right, do exactly. I can, I can, yeah. I, when I think about it, I'm just yeah. like, oh, we have to we have to plug in some stuff and some other stuff and it's not extremely straightforward. So we should do the GUI layer. Yeah. And is that going to be like involved in the ECS or is it outside of the ECS? All these things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. All right. All right man. Well, have a good weekend and uh, yeah, I'll see you on Wednesday. All right. Good stream. Take care, everybody. Cheers.